Hi everybody, Jamie the Board Game Man, in this episode I felt like I had to break out my spirit jersey from Disneyland. As you can see back behind here, I got my Disneyland Resort in the back here. This is the shirt I wore quite a bit when I was a Disneyland Pass holder. Because in this episode, we're looking at a game from 2021 by Funko Games, where you join the happiest crews that ever sailed round the world. Today we're looking at It's a Small World. Now in this game, what you're doing is you're going from room to room, searching for items that you have in your card section, that you have a little card holder, and you're looking for the kids, like so, in each one of the rooms when you're traveling from room to room. And as soon as the clock tower goes to the moon, then you know the, the game has ended. Let's head on over to the gamers table, where I'm going to show you how to play It's a Small World by Funko Games. everybody here we are at the gaming table and here is it's a small world it is really really cute this is really something else this this is actually very very cool I love the theme it really really captures it's a small world uh, actually with my wife Linda and I being annual pass holders for many 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 years while we lived in California this really does a great job um, with the little boats the flags going through the rooms I mean it's great here's the clock tower that we all know so well and uh, what a great, this is just really, really looks nice. So let me go ahead and show you the components. Obviously you have the board, which shows you the different boat areas to go through. You see the little arrows that tell you where to go, like you go through here, then you go around like this, and you go around through here. So you just kind of follow the areas when you go into all the different rooms. You have two boats, you have a blue boat, you put the blue flags in there, and you have the red boat, which is hiding back here. Just like so. And you can play in teams because there's only two of these boats. So you actually play in teams. Okay. You also have these little cards. And they're very, very tiny little cards. And there's all sorts of different things behind these. First and foremost, you have the items that you see on the walls. So when you're in that room, what you're doing is you're looking for this in your room that you're currently in. So right now, say you're in this room here, you're going to look and see, okay, do you see this duck on this wall? So what you do is you're going to look over here. Do you see the duck? Okay, I don't see the duck on the wall. So that in this case, the duck, you wouldn't be able to find it. But when you go into another room, you might be able to locate the duck in that room. Okay, so you kind of hang on to these. And that's what these are for. These are your card holders. And what you do is when you, when you get your cards, you're just going to set them in here. That way, when you go from room to room, you'll be able to look at what cards you have. And if you score a point... If that card is in the room that you're currently in so that's how that works okay so you have those cards that have all the different dolls and little animals that are in there you also have the clock tower card if you get one of these then what happens is you will move the clock tower let me show you the clock tower here as you can see it starts with the number one so every time you draw a clock card you're gonna move this one spot so you're gonna move it to two and then when you get another clock card, you'll move it to three. And depending on how long you want the game to go, if you want a normal game, what you do is you make it all the way to six. Once you reach six, the game ends. Now, if you want to play a longer game, you can actually go to seven, where the moon is, and then you can end the game. So it really depends on how long you want the game to go. Okay, But you always start on one with the sun. All right? The easier areas here where when you score one of those cards you're going to put it in your appropriate tray here's the red team here's the blue team all these cards go into this little section right here now there's one other different kind of card you have the the characters and then you have the clock and you also have these cards now this card allows you to turn any one of these rooms so this is a one turn so let me get this out of the way here so if you draw a card with one turn, what you can do is you can turn any one of these rooms around. So for instance, if you want to flip this around, you can just turn it like this, and there you go. And then you have a new wall to look at. Okay, that's what that does. Then you have these cards that allow you to do two. Okay, so you can do two of these rooms. Say you just want to turn this back around, and you want to turn this one. Now, even when the boat's there, which is pretty cool, you turn it, it doesn't even affect the boat. It goes right around the boat, and it kind of snaps in, which is great too. 
these things actually you put them underneath the uh, the board and it kind of snaps or not normally snaps in but you just kind of push down on it and it's in there so it's really cool you can see all these turn so all these go like this here kind of click and you turn this around click and they click in really really cool idea so that's what those are and then you also have one that has four so you can actually turn all four if you want okay so those are all the different cards that are in here as you can see you have all sorts of different like dolls all sorts of different animals that are in the ride and you have the clock ones and so on so how do you play the game let me go ahead and show you how this works okay i'm not going to bother to shuffle these it doesn't really matter so what we'll do is what you're going to do is you're going to put your red and blue in your slots and then you're going to go ahead and put the cards in here like so. Okay, that's how that works. Now, when you first start the game, what you're going to do is each one of you is going to grab one of these, obviously. Each team is going to grab one of these to keep their cards in, okay? And you're going to start in the areas with the four cards. You'll see the little squares on each one of the boats. That's how many cards you're going to draw for that, uh, for that round. So the red goes all the way back here. You can't really see it. Sorry, it's all the way back here. And then the blue starts right here. So let's say blue starts first. They're going to go ahead and draw four cards to start off the game. Okay. So what you do is as soon as you grab those four, you grab four cards. Let me go ahead and uh, draw four cards back here. Let's see. Three. Oh, got three. Let's get one more. Okay. So you're going to draw four cards to start off the game. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip these over. And first you're going to look for is the the crocodile okay so the crocodile is it in your room let's see if we've got the crocodile anywhere in here let's see crocodile I don't see a cro oh there he is right there there he is right there see right there he is actually in the room so you can go ahead and you'll score points for this so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this it's the blue team okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your clock tower and you're gonna put this right in there and you scored yourself a point the next one is this little girl right here. Is she in your room? Well, let's see. Is she in the room? Looks like she's right there. So you actually score a point for that as well. So you're going to go ahead and put that in your bin. Okay. Next one is this little boy here. Let's see. Is he in there? Let's see if he's in there. No, that's not him. No, it doesn't look like we have him in there. So you're going to go ahead and keep that in your holder. And then, oh, we got a clock tower. Okay. So the clock tower... Go back in the back of the stack here, and just like that, you're going to go ahead and turn this, and the arrow will show you which way to turn it, and you're going to turn it to two, okay? All right, and then here we go with the red team. The red team's going to draw four cards, okay? Draw four cards here. Here are the four cards, just to show you a couple quick little turns, and here we go with this red bird here. So we're going to go ahead and let's, let's turn this around so you can see this side where the red boat is. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, here is where the red boat is. Okay. And you're going to look in that room and see, okay, we have this red bird. Is this red bird anywhere? Let's see. Let me turn it this way so I can see. I don't see the red bird in this room. So this team's going to go ahead and hang on to that card. And then you have spin two. So if you want, you could spin two, but you probably want to use this last because you might want to see if these are in your room. So let's look for this guy. Look at a little leprechaun of some kind. And I don't see him in that room, so he's gonna go ahead and you're gonna return that to your card holder. Then you got this little guy here. Let's see if he's in there. Doesn't look like he's in there either. I don't see him. Nope. So he's not in that room, so you're gonna put it aside. And then you have the spin two. So you go ahead and spin two of these. He's gonna go, okay, I'm gonna spin this one. And I'm going to spin this one. So you got to spin two of them, okay? And then you put that card in the back. So just like that, we have this team here. It has three cards in their holder. Here's the red team. See, so you put the cards right in there just like that. And then you have the blue team over here that's going to hang on to this one card, like so. So you have the card right in there, okay? Okay, now it's the blue's turn. So we're going to go ahead and turn this around here to the blue team. Go ahead and spin it around this way. Of course, in the regular game, you wouldn't have to do that, but just want to show you that why I wanted to have the camera on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to move your boat one space. You're going to follow the arrow, and this one has two. So you're going to go ahead and grab two cards. 
And let's see what happens with these next two cards. These two cards, we've got this little boy right here. Let's see if he's in there. Is he in there? Doesn't look like he's in there. So they're going to go ahead and put that in their card holder. And then we got another clock tower. So we got a clock tower card. So of course, once again, you're going to go ahead and turn this to three. Okay, and so on. And that's what you do in the game. You're going to go ahead and move one space every single, at the beginning of every move, you just move it one space. You take that amount of cards. You go through your cards. And then you try to see if those of the kid or the dolls or the animals are in that room. And then you score one point for each time you get, you find it in that room. And that's pretty much it up until you get, you pretty much keep playing until you determine whether you want to stop at six. Or if you want to play a little longer game, you go to seven. Game ends. You're going to count each team, how many cards they have in their little bin. And whoever has the most cards in their bin wins the game. And there you have it. It's a small world. So let's head on over to the gaming room, and I'll tell you what I think about it. Okay, so my thoughts on the It's a Small World game. I think it's really cute. The theme is right on with the ride. I, I love the way it does that. It's, it's the, the, little, the characters, the dolls, the animals, or ones that are actually in the rise. They didn't just make those up. Those are all in there. So I think that was a great idea how they did that. Beautifully done. It looks really nice. It's really pretty. I love the clock tower. With the, and it looks exactly like the one in Disneyland and Walt Disney World, um, whichever one you've been to. Great. Now, obviously, it's a kid's game. It is a, definitely a kid's game. Um, but you know what? I don't have any qualms with it. I think it's great. It's really light. And if you're playing with your kids or kids are playing, I think it's a great little, uh, a great little game to play. So um, at the time of taping, you can still find it at Walmart. Um, that's, or I'm sorry, not Walmart, Target. And um, yeah, I think, I believe it was like 20 bucks. I think it was 20 or 25. I don't, I don't remember exactly how much it was. I bought it when it first came out. I kind of stumbled upon it by mistake. I was actually at Target one day. I was kind of, you know, kind of going through the games. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's this small world. I didn't know they even came, it even came out. So I snagged it while I got the chance. So, so if you're interested in the game, you can, as of right now, as of, uh, as of this taping, you can still find it at Target. I was there the other day and they still had some there. So if you're interested in getting it, I recommend you get it, especially if you, have, if you have kids. If you have kids, definitely get it. Well, that's my thoughts on It's a Small World. Until next time, happy gaming.